Hi guys, Hi. Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set. Thanks again for logging on to our YouTube channel. We're really enjoying doing it. We're them. loving it and thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, today is a fun one. I'm going to take you around Philippa's wardrobe. I'm going to ask her all the questions you want to know. We're going to get some storage tips, some of her fave buys, some of her worst buys. And stay tuned and see what we get up to. Of a tidy up, I'm not gonna lie. Have you? A little one. It's, I've got to tell you, it's always tidy. No, no <laughs> undie drawers because both of ours are appallingly messy, but it's fine because no one can see those. Okay, so, so first, know. I think we've got to look at the shoes. Gonna we lie. have a serious illness, and but it's called I Own Too Many Red Shoes. <laughs> can I just how many? I'm just gonna many? count how many red shoes Philip actually owns. Two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. 11. 11 red pairs of shoes. Some Normal. people. Some people don't even own 11 pairs of shoes. We love shoes. We love and shoes bags. and bags. We always invest in shoes and bags. You wear them every single day, so it feels exactly. like a good investment. And also, I always feel I could wear the oldest outfit or a plain white tee and a pair of skinny jeans. As long as I've got a new pair of shoes, I just or feel a like I've got a hot dog. I feel like I've got a whole new outfit. Do you ever feel like that? Totally. Right, so what I want to know is why Go some on. face forward, why some face backward, and why some are like <coughs> one way and then another way? Because I feel like there's like a method to this, there and I don't know. There is a method to this organisation. The best way I found to kind of get the most in... This is the important part. With, ...with having, with taking up the least amount of space is putting one in that way and one in that way, and all of a sudden you've got like half a shoe. But some of those aren't like that. <laughs> no, because also I like to see, see what you've spread. got. I get that. So I've realised something where we're quite different. Oh, go on. You fold t-shirts and thin jumpers, whereas I can't be trusted to fold, so I have to hang absolutely But everything. also, you've got hanging on both sides, yeah. so I had to work out what's most important to hang and what can I get away with folding. But do you like folding? <laughs> I quite like it. Oh, and I, I remember when I was so heavily pregnant, and you'll get to this stage, you can fold on your bump. And when I moved in, I had that and I loved it so much. Obviously, have all my favourites at the top and the ones that I wear the most at the top. So, <laughs> this, I'm a bit nuts here. So when I first did it, I actually had all the blacks here right. and then I went to white. I like and, that. Well, for some reason when I was walking in, it was like too much for me to see like black there. Right. So that's how nuts I am with this. So and then I moved to white there. So when I walk in, it feels a bit calmer Fresh. for me and like easier okay. to look at. So I've got all my blacks, my black t-shirts all yeah. folded, my black thin knits. Thick, that's a lot of, that's a lot of black thin knits. Well, how, we love them, right? Yeah, true. Um, thick knits hanging. Yeah. Then I've got my gray and a red, odd red one. T-shirts and knits, white t-shirts as you can see, and then all my stripes. Okay, to pick your favorite t-shirt out of all of these, what would it be and why? Oh gosh, okay, well my two Gucci tees are obviously my favorite, they're both in the washing most moment, worn. so I don't, they're my most, most worn, but I actually wouldn't say they are my, my absolute favorite t-shirt. I know what it is. Which one? The Grey Hobbs one. Grey Hobbs, I don't even remember. Yes! Yes! Well, no, I hadn't even thought about that one. She knows me better than I know myself. I was going to say another one, but yes, you're so right. I mean, this, this t-shirt is going to have cobwebs old. on it. I, Wait. <sighs> I literally, I lived. I don't know why I don't wear it anymore. You do wear it. It smells stale. Oh, you know that smell that's like, I've, I have, I've had that for so long. I could still wear yeah. that, right? I love that. If it's your favourite, you still need to wear I was, it. No, but the other one I was going to tell you is this All Saints tee, which actually I wore this morning. This is the I've best. I've seen this. Really? Is it new? This is like my weekend easy. I wear it with leggings or jeans oh, or whatever. it's a long line. It's long and it's a good, I just love the thin. material of it. It's not clingy. It. I exactly. We hate anything with stretch. We said that on our capsule wardrobe, but it's that nice thin cotton, isn't it? So those are my two favourite tees. I just also actually want to show you oh, something that I always do here, which I think is quite nice in a wardrobe. I always leave a lippy, or today I've got two, and my <clears> perfume, which I've very sadly run out of. Because you know that feeling when you put your clothes on, you look yourself in the mirror and you just, you need to feel yeah. down. So That's I like spritz tip. myself. And I don't have to go to the tip. bathroom or the other bedroom to get it. Whack a bit of lippy on what before I go out. 
the Duchess and very Victoria because obviously pillow talks in my handbag so these are just spares just to pop on before I leave the house right now on to jeans. my jeans selection now I would say you've got a pretty epic collection of and jeans. I have just had a clear out you have had a, we both had a really big clear out recently I had to I had to get rid of some but I would say your you stick it's to a healthy amount you, would you say you, your color of choice is like that mid mid, mid, mid blue um, so you've got a mix of high stream designer in here Tesco jeans that I'm actually wearing today are the bomb. Um, so these, and then of course I love my designers, and I love Levi's, H&M, H&M the vintage H&M's are great, these ones. You've got those in a few colors, I've got right? these in a few washes. These are the vintage fit, and they are really, actually really good, and good price point as well. Um, my designer, I've got frame, um, top shop jeans I've got in here as well. But a River Island. Yeah, the skinny. What is the it? Skinny. What's Amelie. Amelie. The skinny are really Haven't good. actually worn those recently because I'm obsessed with these Tesco pair. But um, I've also got them. And then I've got all my black and grey jeans down I don't here. even own a single pair of grey jeans. Really? Yeah. I love, you know, my grey Zara ones that I've had for absolute years. I wear these all the time. So I go from my blue jeans to my black grey to then my kind of black tailored trousers through to wild Like prints. summery trousers. Summery trousers. Okay. Exactly. Oh, can I remind you of these? Did you know me when I used to wear these? Are these the Iris and Ink ones? No, the, the J brand leather. I've got to Are they green? Wearing. Yes. Oh, I've got to start wearing these again. I think you might need to uh... <laughs> clean them. I used to live in these. I didn't know you. I'm pleased. I remember I wore the them with a black t-shirt in one of our first ever twin set picks yeah. with the Aspinall. We'll try and dig that up for you. <laughs> now onto knits. So you fold I your fold thin knits. I fold my thin knits because obviously that's easier to th- fold. Yeah. And then I hang all my thick knits. Do you ever find that you get like those pokey things a in the corners? A little bit. But what can you do? I know sometimes I just, if I see one that looks a bit worrisome, you I just zhuzh it around. So obviously this is all in colour coordination as well. The reason why I do that, A, I do have a bit of OCD. Easier. But also, and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But we're all about making life as simple and easy as possible. And when you're in a rush, or grey jumper, they're all here. Exactly, you've got them yeah, all here. So it's worth taking the time to do it, and you won't. You'll be satisfied every single morning. And you use these space saving hangers, which I love as well. Do you they're get yours from Amazon? I get these. mine from Primark. Primarche. Oh, I bought Amazon or eBay as well. Because Primark started to do them in these really fun colours. You can get rose gold oh, with nice. grey, or they do them in pastel but pink. But I think when you, you when you have lots of bulky things, they actually make it narrower. So much, you can get so much yeah, more in. Which so, is really good. This so section. now we go down to blouses, shirts, smarter tops, camis, and camis. then a few... Should we see how Fav- many camis? Yeah, go on. I actually think I've got one of Sarah's down here. Help a girl out. That this, one. This? No, yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you for that. <laughs> the scalloped one, which I'm wearing now in maternity, is a really, really great. It's the Topshop's new season cami, and it's got the scalloped edging, which is really lovely. Which is what oh, oh, do you... We're well, going to show you have time for our favourite... Ta-da! We had these made, didn't we? Yes. It was Faith Connection. This is... We should get these out again. We'll shoot them. I wear this a lot. Yeah, I love it. It's a good length. And it's really oversized. And this we love. This is River Island's oversized denim, which... It's is going it? on, which will be on Instagram yes. by the time you see this. And it's just a really great length. And it's quite nice to roll the sleeves up. And also I like that, although it's oversized, it doesn't feel... You know it's how denim jackets can shoulders. be really stiff? It's quite loose. Should we go over to bag? Yes. Favourite, favourite. All my clutches there. Then kind of my boxy bags all here. Then I kind of... Extras. Trying to be organised, but like I've got my big totes back there, and then kind of my new ones here in a bit. I know you probably don't like this no, organisation, like but it looks good. So favorite bag, quickly one, two, three, go. Bag this one. Best buy. Wear it in every single twin set picture, don't I? <laughs> Sarah and I went on the world's biggest hunt. For, for these this bag. pouches. How many times have we worn it? Once. No, I've... Have I've, you? I've Do you take it on holiday? Yeah, always you? on holiday. I would... No, you fa- Philippa found it at the airport, but it was sold out. I didn't... You couldn't yeah, buy no. it. Oh, 
something like that. And then I went to Barcelona and I found, found two, the last she two. She called me. She was like, I found them. Can I buy it? So we bought it. I also need to show you my new investment here that my mother-in-law and obviously father-in-law um, bought for me for my 30th. I was going to say my 21st. <laughs> I wish. My 30th. That's gorgeous. Obviously That's we have twinning dreams. ones. Sarah's got it. So you got it for your 30th Yeah, as well, in, with the you? silver with chain. Silver. It's so good that every oh, time you go out, I love it. It makes gorgeous. me just feel happy when I take it out of there. And as we said, we do like to invest in bags, but there are we have got some great kind of high streety cheap yeah. options. This from Aurora. Aurora, we love. You've probably seen this loads on the blog. This one here, which is really cute. Definitely looks a lot more expensive yeah. than just from it's, the high it's street. It's a bit like the Chloe Drew, isn't it? And our Kurt Geiger. Yes, we love that. This is a great bag. We've shot that quite a lot, haven't we? And you've got it in white as yeah, well. Yeah, it's just a really useful, and it's a good size. Good size. Everything fits inside it. Yeah. So there you go. Then and in your boxes, the grey boxes, boxes up just... here, I've kind of, I try to be as organised as I can. So in this one, I've got scarves and gloves and things like that. And then in here, kind of odd bits. You know, in like your wardrobe, you just collect those strange, Random stuff. You just don't know where to put it. So they kind of all go in there. And then in here I have kind of hairsprays and things like that. Um, and then I've got all my accessories below here. So my sunglasses, my belt, oh, I like that you have them all my jewellery. It's all a bit dusty. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's... Very, very organised. That's my... And do you think... Do you, would you ever let it get really bad? Or do you always keep I it steady tidy? I try and keep tidy? up on it because, obviously... With Alfie, with the job, with the blog and everything, it's it's manic. So as what long do as our I rooms look like when we try when on, we're trying things on for twenty set, it goes a bit. Well, Sarah's. Even see the anyway, I sometimes I'm like, how are you physically even? Can't like, see the floor. But when you're trying it. stuff on, like oh, this bag, this top, I know it does get. But you have to get creative. But yeah. I try and keep on yeah. top of it because I, I would say hate that feeling. Of, like, also, I just don't you. I think you feel like this as well when. I'm stressed or I've got a lot going on. As long as my room and my house is clean and tidy and everything has a place and somehow I feel a little bit better about life. So I do try and keep on top of it. And I think that's the key, what you said there, everything having a place. Yeah. Because I feel like if you don't know where to put things, then it all, it's instantly exactly. messy. So you know your thick jumpers go here. You know your is. jeans go there. So yeah. even if they're not in an... 100% order the whole time, everything has a place, which is really important. Exactly. In the whole, whole wardrobe. Yes. What if you could save one item in the fire in a fire in this wardrobe? What would it be? One item. It's not in here though, but not your F and F jeans. <laughs> no, the skirt that I wore went in the night we got engaged. Sentimental reasons. That sentimental reason. Um, what would I keep? I would probably say these bad boys. Would you agree? The only thing with those is that they they are replaceable. So I might think to go for something that is no longer available. She's good. I'm good. So that was a sneak My peek wardrobe. inside Philippa's wardrobe. Thank you guys for everyone that has subscribed. Keep subscribing and so all you the lovely stay up comments. To date. Exactly. Keep do it, giving them because we love reading them and seeing how we can improve. And we will see you guys next, next week. week. Bye.